Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Unfortunately, this episode is about more mistakes, another attempt that is wrong, and albeit it looks very beautiful. Um, my problems again, unfortunately, and so this is not what it looks like as things are in the wrong places because I have mapped them unfortunately wrong with the grid system and so albeit this is what the continents may look like from the numbers everything in this side here should be up here in the 90 degrees and so you have to have 180 degrees 90 parallels and 180 degrees in each section and so I knew there was a plus and I knew there was a coordinate plus and minus system and I didn't get that right either <laughs> however all is uh, good because I'm working on the next one which is going to incorporate all of my mistakes and hopefully this one is going to be the one sorry about the noise got someone doing building work but essentially this is what you need to see each quarter has a separate system so it, you know court um, plus and negative numbers so that corner is plus and plus that corner is minus and plus that corner is minus and minus and that corner is plus and minus. Essentially, what I'd done wrong was I actually just followed the numbers and they do actually go back on themselves, but I had the numbers wrong. And so it should have been 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 160, 180. Now I was doing that on this model, but I was taking the parallels going across like that and from the north lines coming from the north, not the circles. And so that's where this one went wrong. But I was doing that bit right, essentially. But it was doing, I wasn't marking the parallels right, unlike this one. So essentially the parallels are right on this one and those numbers are exactly what they should be. And so essentially what I'm doing is I'm doing it bigger and I'm doing it a quarter of a time. And so I've started this one, and this is this is it, the this corner here. So essentially you see I've started that bit of England and coming up there in Europe. I've done a few other markers just to see where everything fits, because Japan should be there. And so it is. So there's many things to discuss about um, the next part, and unfortunately, again, I did this bit wrong, but all is not lost. So let's just come down here. This one um, is right, but it's also wrong because it should be inverted. It should be the other way around. And so essentially this should be this side and that should be this side. So Australia, South of South of Africa and New Zealand. I don't know how much you know about new discoveries, but there is absolutely, it's called New, new Lanzia, and this is a new, new continent, essentially, that they found here. So there's land underwater here. There's land underwater here. And essentially this is the ice, this is the South Pole. This is the ice sheet, but it should be the other way around. It should be inverted. And I will show you pictures when I edit the video shortly. I'll put them in. But essentially, it, sh it should be the other way around. And the reason why that is, is because I the prime meridian on this one is this line. And unfortunately, I did it as that line not that line 
whoops so it is right but it's the wrong way around so essentially this all relates to other things which I'm doing and the knowledge relates to frequencies the rainbow and sounds sonoluminescence for example sounds in water star in a jar go look that up and so this is to do with well our existence and creation and so the next video is going to be about um because I, I did i admittedly glossed over um the maths of in the last video i'm going back to it and it's a new drawing and this drawing's got two um important subjects in, in it within it to do with space time and to do with ancient history so uh, hopefully if you'd like to uh see that one soon so I can sh should hopefully finish that one today um, and then carry on doing this one and other things unfortunately it's never ending the work to try and draw to make sense to make you see that, that you've been lied to about creation well unfortunately everyone else <laughs> in the elite use that knowledge to well, go against and emulate creation, essentially. We are emulating ourselves. Frequency-based reality. The Fibonacci sequence. The spiral. You see, in everything, space is a spiral. It is <laughs> but that symbol is either going to put you to sleep or wake you up to, to know that that's about creation. It's about sacred geometry and mathematics. Which means the earth isn't created with advanced technologies and intelligent design. And that has everything to do with space time. So if you'd like to learn about these things, because I am going to do it properly this time, about the area of space and how that relates to the Fibonacci sequence, please share, like and subscribe. I'll be back with more.